Hello lovelies and welcome to Vlogtober. I'm back with something I've never done on my channel which is a and a I asked a bunch of people on Instagram and Twitter to leave me some questions um, ready to film this. I said they could be about autumn, winter, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, anything they wanted and I got a bunch of responses so I'm going to start going through them. So the lovely Lydia from What Lid Did asked what is your favourite thing about winter? So my favourite thing about winter, hmm, I think it's definitely got to be, it's, it's a combination of a couple of things and one of it is the weather because I'm a winter baby so I love the cold weather and I love when it gets brisk and chilly and snow and the other thing I love about winter is how everyone becomes so obviously in winter we have Christmas and everyone becomes festive and happy and giving and just lovely and I feel like it only happens like the majority of people it only happens that type of they become like that at that type of year and I love how like you can see people's attitudes and things changing at that time of year and people get happier and more festive and it just warms me inside so Lid also said what are my dream brands that I'd love to work with um, <clears throat> so I think one of my number one brands to work with work with would be a mattress brand um, I know I'm not going to limit it to one brand but there's a couple of mattress brands at the minute that have released amazing mattresses that are memory foam and like spring mattresses that I think they're memory foam and spring and they like come rolled up in a box and you unravel them and I am a proper gimmicky person at heart so just the fact that it comes rolled in a box and you unroll it and it's a full size mattress amazes me to begin with but I am a nurse, I've also injured my back at work so I have a terrible back to begin with and I have limited time to sleep um, so having an amazing mattress would be an amazing collaboration for me because it just it would mean the world and I'd be able to like say so many good things about it in terms of not only how it help with like how it helps with your sleep and the medical reasons behind why it helps with your sleep but also how it works for someone with a back injury and how it helps for someone who can only have say so many hours of sleep so how your like how your quality of sleep changes from being on a bad mattress for seven hours and a good mattress for seven hours and the difference in your quality of sleep another brand non kind of homeware related that I would absolutely die to collaborate with would be Armani Beauty I mean it's got to be said like I know I do a lot of work with Kate from Armani um, when she was at the Chester counter and now at the Manchester Selfridges counter but I have truly fallen in love with the brand as a whole pretty much 90% of the products I've tried I've absolutely fallen in love with and there's a rare few that I've been gifted from her that I maybe haven't gotten along with or maybe a different shade would have worked better but being able to one collaborate with them or even two have my own product with them that would be my life absolutely made like day and life and just everything would be made if I was able to collaborate with Armani it would just be incredible and I honestly could say I would die happy <laughs> the first question that she asked is what is an average week in your life like um, so you don't really see this massive amounts on my weekly vlog because a lot of it I physically can't show you um, because of confidentiality and everything so I work 37 and a half hours so I work full time as a critical care nurse in a specialist hospital in the northwest so I travel, it's not local local to me so I travel at least 45 minutes to get to work every shift and it's very busy, it's very hectic, it takes a lot out of you, it takes a lot out of people to be nurses, healthcare assistants, doctors, 
from the very beginning to the very top it takes a lot out of you to work in the NHS and I applaud anyone that does um, but to do, I've been told this several times, to do that and everything else I do is a lot and I've been told by several people it's amazing because I also as well as doing those shifts so I either do three long days and when I say long days I am up at 5am um, I leave my house at 6am in the morning and I do not get home till at least nine o'clock at night um, on an average shift obviously it's the opposite way around if it's a night shift so I either do three of those a, d a week or if I do nights I do one week of three and one week of four it's a bit complicated but there's one less hour or a little less time on a night shift than there is on a day so we end up having to do an extra shift um, we do kind of like two weeks of nights and do a three and a four to balance out the hours. Um, so while I do that I then have three to four days off. Two of those days, I like if I've got four days off, I like to spend two of those days doing my blog, doing my YouTube. Um, but obviously my blog started first and it's easier for me to do my blog sometimes because I can kind of write it on the go so I can be sat in my car before work. If I get an extra five minutes, I can kind of be typing out a blog post on my phone. Um, whereas YouTube, I have to be sat kind of, I can promote it and everything once it's been like uploaded and I can plan things in advance, but it takes a lot more to sit down and film. Um, and edit it all, hence why I am on a Sunday, it's quarter to seven in the evening and I am still filming and I've been filming all day to try and film for Vlogtober videos so I spend normally spend those two days doing that and then my other two days kind of off normally aren't off so I'm normally seeing family or friends um, and a lot of the time I'm kind of sat I might be sat on the couch or in the dining room watching a film on my iPad while doing a little bit of something on my laptop, whether it be replying to emails, editing a video, editing some pictures. I'm always kind of doing something and even like in my spare time when I'm on my phone, I'm normally like editing um, like Instagram pictures or a picture for Twitter or something like that. So it's normally quite busy and I don't get a lot of me time, but what I do I like to do and one day I would like to turn my blog and my YouTube into a part-time thing and do less hours at work and have more time so maybe instead of doing three and four shifts a week go down to two and then have those other days focused on my blog and my YouTube and have a proper weekend off um because I don't get much time to myself but we never know I might never get there all of this might never get there so that's just kind of like an end goal for me um, I don't think a lot of people have asked me would I ever give up nursing for it and I don't think I ever would mainly because I've trained so hard to be a nurse I put so much into it I think even if this I'm not saying it would but even if this all of a sudden massively took off I'd still want to do like at least one shift a week in like some form of nursing and um, because I think I'd miss it too much at the end of the day like as much as I love blogging and YouTube and I love interacting with people and I love like interacting with people that have found what I do helpful it really it's a different type of feeling when I've looked after someone and I've helped someone particularly poorly and then they or their family have turned around and thanked me or gave me a hug or gave me a card it's a it's a completely different feeling and it's it's so much I don't know what the word to say is it's like it may it like lifts your soul so much that I don't think like I think I'd miss that and I'd miss being able to interact with people in that way so I don't think I'd ever give it up um but it's a very hectic week so Leah also asks where is most of my wardrobe from um I reckon most of my wardrobe is from a combination of three places it's either Primark Boohoo and Asda I reckon are the main oh no no maybe four places Primark Boohoo Asda and Matawan are the like four places I buy my clothes and um, I buy different things from different places and I find different styles of clothing I'm looking at a pile of washing that I'm waiting to put away if you're wondering why I'm looking over there um but there's different like styles I'll find in different like stores so like for instance Asda oh my god Asda do the best skinny jeans 
for anyone that remotely has a bum or bigger thighs, the Asda Wonderfit skinny jeans are oh, heaven. Um, so Leah also asked, what is my favourite thing about Halloween? Um, it's the decorations, definitely. People will probably say the candy and the sweets, but I love the decorations. Like, I love all the autumnal Halloween decorations and, like, the copper and the pumpkins and everything. I haven't decorated for Halloween yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to this year, um, only because... I'm quite busy this October and I think I might be in work for, oct for like actual Halloween so I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to enjoy it um, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet, I haven't had my off duty for October so I'm not, well for the end of October for like Halloween so I'm not sure yet but if I can't I always 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 decorate for Christmas Halloween's sometimes a bit, like I love the decorations but it's sometimes a bit hit and miss um, but definitely once I have my own place, boy will that be kitted out for Halloween. You just wait. So Leah also asked, was there something that was so hyped up but when you tried it, it wasn't very good? <laughs> now, this is quite ironic because I'm not sure when it's going up. But I've actually done a first impressions of the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation and Concealer. And particularly the concealer. I know when this concealer first came out everybody and their mother raved about this concealer and after trying it I'm not massively impressed um like I thought it was going to be like full coverage like and it's like everything's gone but it's actually not full coverage like when I no matter how much I put it on no matter how much I layered it no matter whatever way I tried to blend it it was not full coverage um my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer that for under the eyes oh also this one isn't near enough bright enough for my under eyes like considering the foundations go to 0.5 the concealers start at one which i mentioned in that video but i'll say again here i think that's really odd because if you're going to have a foundation in 0.5 you need to at least have a matching concealer if not one lighter because people with 0.5 skin tone will still want brighter under eyes and with this one it just about blended in um but it was still like more of a yellow toned whereas this was a pink but compared to my all-time favorite under eye concealer which is the naked skin um the naked skin flawless under eye concealer this just does not win that wins by a mile because it goes on it's full coverage lightweight and it doesn't crease like super bad under my eyes because I have creases anyway so this one for four pound to me was a bit of a waste of money because it dead hyped up wasn't worth it for me she <laughs> Leah's asked a lot of questions now this is hard for me because it's a toss-up between two things and one is mascara because I have invisible eyelashes and what the other one is like brow makeup so whether it be a pencil or wax or whatever because I have Invisibrows so if I didn't have them tinted at the minute which I do it's definitely a toss up between an eyebrow product and a mascara product but I guess if I could tint my eyelashes and like have an LVL I could do without the mascara so it's probably eyebrows because you can get away without eyelashes like you can put false lashes on you can do all that so I probably it probably would be with eyebrows because you can't really like unless you had an eyebrow makeup you can't really like affect them I know people um there was those eyebrow wigs that went around on the internet that were oh my god god awful if you had like they apparently looked good if you didn't have any hair there to begin with but for people who had like fair hair it just didn't work so yeah probably eyebrow makeup then Jessie from one of my besties from Jessie Lou blog asked me if you could be in one TV show what would you be in? Um, scrubs. Definitely scrubs. I really like it. it. Sounds like a weird like why as a nurse would you want to be in a funny like medical drama type thing but it's because of that it's not a serious medical drama at all. It's such a comedic medical tv show it just makes me laugh like the, especially if you haven't watched it try and see if you can youtube the clip like the part of the episode 
I think it's an entire episode actually where a woman I think she hits her head and then all she can hear is people singing when they're supposed to be talking to her and the entire thing is just people singing and it's all theatrical and it's amazing so it was definitely definitely would be that and particularly that episode because that was hilarious Jessie also asked who is your biggest celebrity crush and this one I never used to like have massive celebrity crushes but after seeing the James Corden like carpool karaoke thing definitely has got to be Shawn Mendes he's just so cute I mean he's probably like a child but he's just so cute and the accent oh my god the accent then Jackie asked me what are your top five beauty products now I wonder if she means products in general or like actual products but I'm gonna go my top five I've definitely got to be my Elizabeth Arden Advanced Night Repair because that stuff is amazing and on that note the Clarins Multi Active Day Cream because oh my god those two together wondrous skin it just makes my skin amazing um, for eyebrows at the minute it's a combination of the Bourjois Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde and the Revlon Colour Stay Pencil like Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde then it's got to be my Giorgio Armani um, Power Fabric. Why could I not remember the name? I wanted to, I was gonna call it the name of the lipstick, the Power Fabric Foundation because that stuff is amazing. And then my top five is lip product, which is a new one but amazing. And it's the new Rouge, well, it's the new Armani Rouge de Armani matte lipsticks, which are incredible and just what we needed from Armani they're absolutely perfect and then Karen one of the lovely girls from work sent me a message well sent me a Instagram message that said how do you fit everything you do in so honestly number one I have absolutely no idea I probably have half a social life um, that normal people do and I kind of count seeing my friends at events as part of like my social life. Um, but two, a really, really, really good planner. If you have an exceptionally busy life or loads of things going on, I can't recommend enough getting a good planner, finding a way and like assisting, uh, finding a way and a system that works for you. Um, so obviously. I have so much going on and for me it works best that I have things planned out to the T and I have like a to-do list of exactly what I need to get done for that day so that I have time on like days off and things to do things I actually want to do whether that be spending time with my friends and family being able to go out to work nights out because I've not arranged something else like another event and I've not got something else booked in and um, but yeah definitely organizing my time and having a good planner and to be honest a lot of the time I will leave my planner at my desk because my planner is pretty big and um, to fit everything in and I will carry like a little notebook um, like this one I will carry a little notebook in my purse that I can basically write everything in and like write ideas or whatever and then I can come home and kind of put it wherever it needs to go whether it be plans to go in my diary plans for like videos and blog posts that go in my blog and youtube book or whatever but yeah that is how i get absolutely everything planned in otherwise i'd have like no time at all i'd be back to back work but i hope you guys enjoyed this q a let me know if you'd like to see more of them or kind of like themed ones so if you want to see like a beauty one or a life one or a nursing one whatever let me know down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys